During this video presentation, we're going to have a look at searching training.gov.au, which is our national database of training packages and their components, including qualifications and units of competency. First, type in training.gov.au into the address bar of your internet browser. Next, just scroll down until you can see the search box about three quarters of the way down the page. Here you can see that you can search for organisations such as RTOs or nationally recognised training components like training packages, qualifications and units of competency. We're going to search for training components using a keyword. In this case, let's look for the keyword resources because we may not know the code for the resources in the infrastructure training package, but we can use the word resources. Make sure that you uncheck the superseded data box because we don't want anything that's out of date and then click search. As you can see, the database returns search results for training packages, qualifications and units of competency that all contain the word resources. At this stage we're not too concerned about accredited courses or skill sets so you can safely ignore them for now. We can expand each of these sections to see the actual search results. Let's open up training packages and see that here we are with our resources and infrastructure training package that contains the word resources. Using keywords has its limitations. When we look into the qualifications, we can see that there's eight qualifications all containing the word resources, but most of these have to do with human resources, which is outside of our focus area. As we move down to units of competency, we can see that a single keyword search is really ineffective because we're getting lots of search results that are completely irrelevant. If you need to use keywords, be as specific as possible and use more than one keyword. Another way to search is by using a wildcard or asterisk key. We know from the coding that all training packages, qualifications and units of competency from the resources and infrastructure training package all start with the first three letters RII. Therefore, if we use RII asterisk in our search box, we will get returned results of all qualifications, training packages and units of competency that contain RII in their code. Getting to the documents is really simple. We're going to have a look at the Certificate 2 in Mining and Field Exploration and we want to get to that actual qualification outline. By clicking on the blue link of the qualification code we can see the entire qualification on screen. At the top of the screen you can see the qualification details and you've got some summary information. Then as you are moving down you can see the units of competency that are included in the qualification and we can see here modification history, the qualification description, entry requirements, packaging rules etc. If we move back up the screen, around about halfway up the screen, you can see that you can download a Word version of the qualification or a PDF version. We're going to click on the Word version and this will download the Word document which we can open from the download. We follow exactly the same principles with units of competency. So you can just click on the unit link and then scroll down to about halfway down the page where you'll find any documents that are related to the unit. In this transition period you may find just one document which will be a unit outline or you'll find the two documents which are the unit outline and the assessment requirements and that just depends on whether the training package has adopted the new template that they will be using into the future which will be the two documents together. Now it's time for you to see if you can search for different training package components at training.gov.au. The great news is this database can't be broken so why not have a play around and see what other features you can find on training.gov.au.